everyone let's talk about halantoin powder today um, i want to address the common common question that i get asked by my student at naturalskincarescue.com is halantoin synthetic can i use it in making my product halantoin is not natural halantoin is synthetic even though it's fda approved halantoin is not natural is a very very synthetic chemical that takes forever to um to dissolve it takes forever to dissolve alantoin so keep that in mind alantoin is not natural if you include it in your product um in your in your ingredient list you have to let your customer know even though you you make natural skincare product, you include alantoin you have to let them know them you cannot claim it as natural anything you use that's not natural it's very important that you can tell them it's non-toxic that's perfect but you can't say it's 100 percent natural you can even say for example if you use 100 99 percent natural product and you use just 0.5 percent of alantoin make sure you tell them it's 99.5 percent natural with uh you know this non-toxic synthetic chemical that you use now what is alantoin used for alantoin is an anti-irritant it helps to prevent irritation especially when it's best used to make face facial products okay it's best used to make facial products so a lot of um, skincare brand use i do use it too, but personally i've never really seen a lot of difference okay when using it so that's why most of the time i don't use it it don't it doesn't the, why i don't like to use it is because it takes forever to, it takes forever okay anything synthetic can be very funny they ask funny because it takes forever for it to dissolve it doesn't this even if you if you eat it now i'm going to address another common issue that you get when you are using this see when you had it when you had water to it see it will just stay cloudy forever it doesn't go clear just like all the ingredients that i i put in water recently it doesn't go clear it's just going to stay here for a long time it's just going to stay cloudy that's what synthetic uh, products do they're just like that i mean you can't do anything about them because they are chemical now I do ask people do ask me should I use it in the water phase or using the cooling phase? Um, I'm afraid it can recrystallize later. Yeah, this is very. If you have worked with alantoin before, you know that it has a tendency of coagulating and forming a lump in your product, especially when you eat it too much. So you don't need to worry too much about eating this product too much. No, what you want to do is that you can just leave it as it is, add it to. Add it to the cool down phase if you are worried about recrystallization because I noticed that also it has a tendency of recrystallizing when especially when you eat it so much in the water phase so what you want to do is just add a little bit of water to it don't worry if it doesn't go clear it's because it's a synthetic uh, ingredient anyway then add it to the cool down phase of your formulation if you are really worried if you are making a toner no problem just add it to add it like that um, when it doesn't require heating, you can add it like that. Alantoin has something. It takes, as you see now, if you leave it for like um, 24 hours, just leaving it like this. I mean, cover it with the uh, cover. Make sure you cover it. Just experiment with it. When you see it in the next maybe 24 hours, it will have remained clear. Okay, so the strong synthetic bond takes forever to dissolve in water. So that's exactly why you know people are really worried about it. Uh, so should I use it in the eat eat uh, in the eat phase of my formulation or the cool down phase? Well, the it, the choice is up to you. Okay, if you notice it crystallizes a lot after cool down, then don't include in the in the heated water phase. Make sure you include it in the cool down phase. Okay, or just really regularly add it to you. Just it, you use it at. Uh, I recommend you use it at zero point five percent. I know some people use it more than that. But you don't need that. Just use it at 0.5 percent and just a little tiny bit. Sometimes you can even use it at 0.2 percent, or just don't use it at all. Personally, I've never really seen a lot, a lot of improvement using this. No, so that I can tell you, I've never seen a lot of improvement using Alantoin with other with my in my skincare products. So I don't worry too much about it since I make natural skincare products anyway. I don't worry about adding Alantoin to it. I don't see any improvement. But if you are worried, make sure you use it in the cool down phase of your formulation. That's okay. So that's about it for Alantoin. I hope this has answered some of your questions. If you are worried about crystallization, make sure you use it in the cool down phase. Add a little bit of water to it and add it to the cool down phase of your formulation. 
thank you so much everyone for watching this about it for this video if you want to learn more about using your skincare ingredient this is a channel for you so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload my new video thanks for watching